Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Brother and Sister Podcast. I am your host, Pug Flavor, and my co-host is... Tressa Mitchner. Tressa Mitchner. We have a very, 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 very special guest in the house today, my homeboy. A1 since day one, you know what I'm saying? I would like to introduce to y'all, Mr. Duran Banks. Thanks for having me, brother. Right. How you doing today, man? Hey, just just getting right into it, man. I, ladies and gentlemen, I've been knowing this man since like the third grade. And when I got into school, <laughs> he didn't like me at first because I don't know if all the women were coming to me or whatnot. Oh, but <laughs> hold on, he gonna tell that story. Oh, Lord. He got a story though. <laughs> but we've been knowing each other for a long time, and it's been a, a terrific time and a terrific journey. So, during Mr. Derrick Bangers, I would just like you kind of just introduce yourself and just kind of tell us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, yeah. Uh, my name is Darren Banks. Uh, born and raised in Clayton, North Carolina. Uh, affectionately known as Pop. That's, yeah. that's a, a local <laughs> nickname that I, I just haven't been able to shake, but usually people around here know me by that. Um, went to Clayton High School, uh, played football there. Uh, went to a t for a little stint. Uh, it was a little kind of hard for an 18 year old in Greensboro. So uh, <laughs> that, that homecoming got me. So I had to, <laughs> had to get up out of there. Uh, went to the Air Force. Uh, right. Served about 22 and a half years. Awesome. Retired. Yes. I'm sure I ever came back to Clayton. We want now to I'm thank you for our high. service. Don't mean to interrupt, <laughs> but thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And I just want to go back on some the football thing, man. Football. Um, 89 state champion. Your jersey got retired. Extra effort award two times. Let's talk about this thing a little bit. Because, I mean, we was playing football, and, like, you was the quarterback, you was cornerback, and you was laying guys out on defense so much that the ambulance had to come put them <laughs> on the stretch. Like, yeah. I mean, do your, like, your students know what you accomplished over the years at, uh -uh. at school? Uh, some of the older guys, uh, oddly enough, uh, you know, some of the JV kids, you know, I'll tell them to do something and they'll be like, hey, coach, did you ever play football? I'm like, wow. <laughs> hey, get on the line. Let's run. <laughs> and we're going to figure out what I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but no. Nah, uh, some, of, some of the kids know, uh, I think they still got a couple pictures up right. in the hallways. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I think football, well, sports in general, right. uh, can definitely help young yeah. men and, and young women yes. uh, as, a, as a way out. Uh, yes. And like I said, for me, um, I just used this as uh, I, I could really express myself there. Right. Um, believe it or not, growing up, small or small, I was kind of shy, yeah. so right. quiet. So, But when I got on the football field, I, I could really express myself. Yeah, you, and be you the, definitely the guy did that. that. All I wanted to be, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Right. I, like, going back, like, even with, like, if, now, if Tom Suda came to your school, now, for those that don't know, Tom Suda was a, was a, what's that, the sports, a local right, sports right, channel right. analyst, and if he come to your, your town or your school, that means you top of the line. He came twice to Clayton High. And Mr. Durham Bank is here. He got the extra effort award. And I think, was it the team extra award for the second time? I think the, the same year the defense got an award, too. Right. So, so that was a big deal, man. Can you tell us, how did you feel when, when that accomplishment, it's, that's a big accomplishment right there? Um, what I remember, I, I think we had played D.H. Conley. Mm -hmm. And uh, so go back a little bit because yes. uh, that's an interesting story. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I went into the season thinking, okay, all the quarterbacks gone, so you know now it's my time. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be the guy. 
Um, and there were, were like two other guys under me right. you know, that we kind of split reps with. Mm-hmm. So we get to this D.H. Conley game, mm-hmm. and I, I never forget, Coach Fowler, he greets us together. He's like, uh, well, I don't know who's going to be the starting quarterback, right. so we're going to split time between all three of y'all. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, I'm wow. like, what, what, like, what do you mean? Yeah. You know, yeah, what do you mean? You don't know. Right. You know, but I, I didn't say nothing. Right. Um, and I tell kids, so, so sometimes – not just in football in life, it's almost like, what have you done for me lately? Right. Yeah. Like you could do, be the best, yeah. whether it's job, sports, last year, but <laughs> what have you done now? So yeah. right. sometimes you got to just show people. Right. So I, I remember, I never forget, I remember going to that improve. game like, uh-huh. all right, well, well, all right, I'm going to show them. You right, know, because right. maybe maybe he forgot who who I am. Right. 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 <laughs> so so in he that bu- game, he must have forgot. <laughs> yeah. So I think I can't remember in that game. I had maybe ran for two touchdowns, threw for another, a uh, couple tackles for right. losses. You know, just had a monster game and went mm-hmm. went off. Um, needless to say. Um, no disrespect, but those guys they never get in the game. Right, <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Right. I mean yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah you sometimes you, you got to separate yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So after that game, I think the next week in practice, he Fowler pulled me to the side and said, hey, you know, and, and anybody that knows Mr. Fowler, he's going to kind of right. downplay any kind of accomplishments right. Just, right. Like, just to kind of keep you humble. He said, hey, right. they, they want to, you know, do this little war for you. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, <laughs> right. yeah. Well, I forget his name, Tom. Somebody Tom Suda. Yeah. And I'm, in my, I'm like, oh, Tom Suda? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, so I didn't tell anybody, you know, and we're sitting, uh, again, way back there, I think we had seven periods. Right, like, right. I don't mm-hmm. But, you know, we're in class, and, you know, we hear this helicopter coming, <laughs> and on the wow. intercom, I said, hey, could everybody go to the football field? Mm-hmm. So me, I know what it is now all right. the time, like what's happening. Right. And I, again, never forget, you know, the whole school came out to the football field and, and you know, I was honored with, with being an uh, effort, extra yeah. effort award winner. So awesome. It. It so awesome. awesome. But I, mean, I, got a, I got a question for you. How does it feel to, okay, so you was so good in football, then you went and served our country for 20 years in the Air Force, then you came back to serve our town, helping these kids now from where you left from. How does that make you feel? Right. Um, yeah, I think it was about uh, maybe a year away from retirement, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm you know, thinking, you know, what did I want to do? Um, you know, there was obviously a lot of government jobs yeah. on the table um, and then a lot of contracting jobs. I mean, right. it was a, a lot of money right. uh, that was was meant to be made, and mm-hmm. and a lot of my contacts in the military, you know, I, I was I was hooked up, right. um, and also, you know, my wife is is German, right? Uh, you know, so mm-hmm. um, so one day I tell her, I said, you know, I've been thinking, you know, I know the Air Force can move us anywhere in the world, but. Uh, right. What do you think about moving to Johnson County? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so, that's a big surprise. You know, right. so so that's that's the kind of running joke now. Like we could have been in you know Anywhere. Spain, England. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, we came back to Clayton. Yeah. But yeah, again, I uh, contacted Coach Fowler and said, "Hey, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Mm. Um, what 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 do you think about it?" And again, he he gave me some good advice. Because uh, to me, Clayton High football was was definitely a building block yeah. of, of of my growing up mm-hmm. right um, I know what it did for me and I I, I wanted to share that experience with mm-hmm. with other young men mm-hmm. um, it, and it's just been a been a blessing um, I'm coming up on my 11th uh, yeah. 11th year wow. yep, 11th senior co- coaching 11th year coaching yeah. awesome man. and that's that's just so amazing to me because mm-hmm. I mean of course you know I was a troubled team um, and just watching you go back and help these young people to experience that goodness that you experienced to me you might not understand but to me that just blows my mind for somebody to go back and do that to trans transition that energy back from where they live right. so it to me it, i'm just admired by what you're doing and continuously to do coming back to small town johnston county but look at what you're doing to affect other families right i yeah. mean i mean if you think about it all of us had to have yeah. somebody that yeah. I don't right. whatever somewhere 
part in your life that, yeah. that kind of motivated you or, or gave you some inspiration when you might have thought like, uh, well, this is this is all that I, I right. got, or all that I, you know. Um, it's good because you know kids kids don't know they they, they don't know. you know mm -hmm. I, you used to hear like all right we're gonna give you three strikes right and I tell kids that hey you might need five six <laughs> yeah. strikes That's but right. you but, you, but right. you're gonna get it yeah like right. I, I, I'm an honest believer in they're gonna figure it out they don't figure um, it out I I don't think there anything is such as bad kids That's right I mean some may be a l little misguided um, a lot of kids you know. It's learned you know, behavior. Can, yeah, they can, you know, yeah. they may not have this. And I tell them, you can't, yeah, you may not have a two-parent home. That's right. Or you may not, but, okay, that's that's not going to, you know, you can't gonna use that you. as a crutch. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? That's right. Um, a lot of kids, I started out, said, okay, I want to come help these football players. and and But w once I got into school, I was like, well, mm -hmm. wait, <laughs> there's right. some more kids over here, uh, right. you know, that, that, that need some help. Right. Um, and, and, you know, I've, I've seen so-called bad kids, so-called, you know, gangbangers, all, all of them super nice to me, right. never right. disrespected. Right. Um, awesome. but you got to understand the, these kids grow up differently. Yeah. So you right. might have to approach them differently. differently. Right. That's right. So now there's some kids I can put, say, Hey son, I need you to, you know, go do this. Right. And that's some I'd like, look. You got to be a little bit yeah, more firm, yeah. like, you know, because right. they, they need, mm -hmm. I think kids yeah, know how to just, adapt yeah. different situations. Yeah, mm -hmm. kids, right. kids, all kids desire or want discipline or That's some right. kind of structure. Right. Some, some kind of structure, they, yeah. they, I mm -hmm. mean, they, they do. Yeah. Um, so all that says, is uh, being there at Clayton High, um, working with these kids, uh, as as much as I feed into them, they, they feed into me as well. Right. So, I mean, it's... Yeah. it's it's a, a, it's a, a give good and take balance, mm -hmm. give and take. Right. It's good. That's really good. That's, that's pretty and good. I tell you, Clayton produced a lot of superstars that came out of Clayton, and you definitely are one of them. Um, I remember <laughs> you was telling me, like, uh, your guys was hitting the sled and whatnot, <laughs> and you asked them, uh, who the best rapper between J.D. Kiss and uh, Lil Durk? <laughs> and they said, Lil Durk, Lil Wilson. Give me 20 more points. Go, go ahead, keep <laughs> running. I'll be like, that's your problem now. Go back. I, I have told him, like, I'll see him. They'll be walking around with, like, I was like hey, I, I like your Wu Tang shirt. Is that right. coach? I was like, the W on your shirt. It stands for a group, right? right. Like, oh, I just like the colors. <laughs> they don't know who Wu Tang was. Like, yeah. talk about us. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And we, we, you know, we have this debate, and, and oh, when they have the like, like the ox and playing all that, you know, I, I do feel like I'm old now because I'm like, guys, what what are you playing? Like, yeah, that is I, not me. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, the whole op thing. You know, we uh, for, we are. Um, you know, we had a big game coming up, and you know, I was all right, everybody ready. So, I, you know, I walk in the locker room, and you know, they they blasting Drake, and I'm like, wait, man, you can't get hype. <laughs> I mean, I love Drake, but he ain't gonna get you. <laughs> the anthem, yeah, he's not anthem. where you need to be at. But yeah, no, they they're all different. Yeah. Uh, but that, but that's the thing. Um, kids, kids are all different. Um, as we were once right. and, and, and I think with them I let them know that hey yeah. if I could only tell you all the mistakes that I made right. like right. they see now they say hey Coach Banks uh, you know retired. Right. They, they see me where I'm at now yeah. well I, I am sure you know I tell the story like I'm yeah. like look I wasn't right. always like yeah, this that's right. I've, got, I've gotten in trouble too yeah, that's right. and I tell them that's right. like, that's I, what, mm -hmm. and that's the only thing to get me with some Adults want to, you know, now yeah. they want to be like, hey, yeah. don't do this, don't do that. But you you did the same thing. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's right. So so in telling kids, hey, don't do this. But like, I, I know where you're coming from. I I I got expelled from school once. Right. You know right. what I mean? I did this, but That's right. I recovered. That's right. It wasn't, right. it wasn't a downfall, you know. Yeah, you picked the pieces up and pushed yeah. forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then look back. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I remember like... <laughs> You know, we was in class and I sat behind you. I remember this one time. <laughs> Kids do not cheat. I'm going to tell you. Don't do don't it. Cheat. Don't cheat. I didn't cheat on your paper that time. The teacher was that grading That time. Me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, the teacher was grading papers across from me. 
And I was sitting behind Dern, and we both made a hundred. <laughs> and the teacher made me take my test over, and it didn't go so good the second <laughs> round. But I didn't cheat off his paper. That time. Uh, that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't cheat, kids. Yeah. But yeah, Dern, man, you was. Or don't put down the verbatim ask them to change up something. But yeah, yeah, change up something. <laughs> right. <trying> to cheat. <laughs> But yeah, it's, oh, it's been an awesome journey, man. And like, just, you know, and I remember like, you know, when, when graduation time came and, you know, I, I went my way, you kind of went your way and, and you never passed judgment off of me. You always like held me down and you always had my back. And we always, you know, if we, if we separated, we always like, when we got back together, we just picked up the pieces and, and went on where it left off at, you know what I'm saying? And we always had a good time. So I definitely... Uh, I'd like to commend you for that, you know what I'm saying? Because you've always been a stand-up A1 since day one, no. and um, it's a big deal to me, you know what I'm no, saying? No, I I mean, I, especially coming, you know, I would come home on leave from the military, mm -hmm. and, you know, again, hadn't seen him in years, and right. we just, I mean, it's just like yesterday, yes, yeah. you know, right. because one thing about it, if if, if you're true friends, yeah, like right. true, 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 true you know, mm -hmm. I ain't, I ain't, you know, yeah. I've never... Been jealous of him, not yeah, jealous. That's right. You know, right. Uh, I'm gonna support. Yeah, right. I mean, and, and again, people gotta understand. People are gonna go through different stages yeah. of life. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're gonna be right. on top yeah. one time, and I may not be there yet. <laughs> right. But it ain't ain't no fault of yours. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't uh, count uh, it, count it out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, I think you know not to get too deep but yeah. as a people that's yeah. where we we fall to yeah. like right. we get mad time. at somebody i'm i'm happy that's right, right. Like, that's I, right. like you know i see that's him right. i'm like man good what, <laughs> right. what, what yes. you doing? like that's how could right. you be mad at that's right somebody right. For, because you gotta understand well my my time coming that's right you, right you that's know right. what i mean so that's right yeah we may i mean like we, you ain't, said, we ain't the type of people that just sit still and just stay stagnated because we're going to push forward and we're going to move up. And we know the sky's the limit and we ain't going to stop. So we always been like that. We're going to continue on, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. So No, I mean, we, I, look, I I can't even remember. I was, uh, you, was, you, was, you said, well, hey, I'm DJing at this club tonight. I'm like, <laughs> right. Like I'm, I was like his hype man back in the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we, we I remember went, this one time. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm his hype man. Yeah, <laughs> we at the club, and I had just went off, and I was getting ready to come back on, and another DJ had came on. DVS, uh, <laughs> a famous, DVS. famous DJ. Hey, oh, DVS, if you see this man, I'll put my my guy. <laughs> DBS is playing the record. Oh, and Durham was like, he, I'm ready for P to come back on, man. How about that? <laughs> so the record was playing, yo, man, put P back on. Oh, yo, Durham touched the record and stopped the record while I was playing. Everybody dancing. Ur, 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 and put P back on. <laughs> <laughs> and my man, he looked at me like, are you trip? Oh, my God. <laughs> yo, man, I'm ready. Come on, P, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And I go back there and rock the crowd. It was <laughs> it was a beautiful time, man. We had yeah, some good we time and steady and, having it. And, and, and what you tell, like, again, always been his fan. Like, so, yeah. I, we, I don't know, six and or seven. And then we had the same grade. last name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> I used to, true story, I used to ride that out too. Like, hey, your brother. So I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's my brother. Yeah. Right. And I, you know, even when I went to the lunchroom, I didn't have money. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, Oh, no, I think my brother got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no, we all eat free. <laughs> That's so, right. we, I mean, yeah. I used to, <laughs> right. I used to kill it. But back in the day when I, I kept, when he first got his turntables, oh, I yeah. mean, we used to hang out for hours. Hours. <laughs> first mixtape ever. That's good. Uh, Biz Marquee Peaking Boogers, we made our first mixtape. Uh, we listened to that tape like a hundred <laughs> times over and over and over. It was the baddest thing that ever lived when we did that. <laughs> to this day, whenever I hear that song, I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> It was old, man. But, uh, it's, it's been a beautiful ride, man. No, I uh, definitely uh, been, a, been a fan of That's Pugs. So awesome. Um, extremely proud, and I, I think I might have hit him up a couple months ago. Like, right. I'm, I'm proudly right. the man yeah. that he is. Yeah. Um, uh, again, people going to, you know, they may stay in one stage, or yeah. you may make some wrong or right decisions right. Right. Uh, again that's my boy so that's ain't right. me to judge now that's right. I might say hey man you might want to move a little right. different right. That's right. but I, I still that's got right. it right. You know? that's right uh, again 
we can't judge people. Like I said, if we're if we're friends, if mm-hmm. I say your friends, mm-hmm. family, right. then I'm a, I'm a good and bad. That's right. Right. That's right. Support. And I um and because me and Alice talk about it it's all t- all the time about how you know certain people support you, certain people won't. But I have other people that call me too and always be like, well. My family don't support me or, you know, my friends, I thought they would support me or like what I'm doing and this and that. But it's a scripture in the Bible that actually talks about Mm -hmm. this. And the scripture is Mark 6. And it says, but Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country, among his own relatives and in his own house. So even Jesus couldn't perform miracles and do all of these mighty works in his own hometown because they probably were still looking at him as that's Joseph's son. (laughs) They didn't look at him as the Christ, who he was, the almighty power for God. So if there's a scripture that references, references him in the Bible in the same manner, we just got to remember even he won't get no honor from his relatives and certain people that hung around him and all that. So the ones that we do have, we thank God for them yeah. because yeah. they're very few, but very it's few. always that, um, the, the part of it that when things get big and get huge, then everybody wants to be yeah. your friend. So that's how you have to recognize from the beginning who was there, yeah. who was that friend. So you don't be deceived yeah. and you yeah. have discernment of the spirit. I mean, that's why I tell the kids, even in, 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 in your most, what you would call your worst times, yeah. th- yeah. that's when you take that's, role. Right. Yeah. You know, right. that's what, I mean, everybody's gonna be around when you're when you're, right. you're, you're popping right. and you're mm-hmm. hot and you're on top and you know right. you got money to spend. That's and right. It, but it, what about when you don't have it? Mm-hmm. What right. about when you need somewhere to stay? That's right. Are they gonna you know crunch time? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. That's you right. You I mean you might still have some friends, but you know they yeah come on over, but man. <laughs> yeah. Trisha at my house. Right. Man, she, you know, she don't know how long she's gonna be here. Yeah. Like, right. I don't even want to come. Right. <laughs> that's right. I mean, that's that's almost just worse. Yeah, right. but you get all slow talk, man. Yeah, I yeah, rate. Right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I ain't even gonna ask. I'll figure it out. Right. I'll figure yeah. it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. You still looking back at the same. You sure? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, man. That's right. But it's good to have friends. It's good to have real, true friends. And I know because, of course, I was in with y'all and seen it. Y'all been friends forever, and it's just oh, so man. amazing. Right. It is, it is gr- I, I, I'm telling you, this guy has uh, blossomed in, into a great young, yeah. young well, man. I ain't even say yeah. young. Young? Great man, <laughs> yeah. You say young, <laughs> young man, young, young actor man. Yeah. I mean, he's, <laughs> yeah. But again, one thing about always admired about him, he he always had you know something going. He wanted to do this, yeah. And then, right. You know, he went from from yeah. you know DJing to music. Then mm-hmm. he wanted to do this, and, was, and then yeah. I you know I popped up, and he was mm-hmm. doing uh, the, the video stuff. Right. You know, this he, always he's always. Once you reach something, you always mm-hmm. got to kind of reevaluate. That's right. right. I've, you know, I've, I've done this. Then what else I was going to do? And and now, you know, look at you guys. Got That's your right. own, yep. own podcast yep. and and got Dude. me on before a ride clock. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just Big having. Big up ride clock, a.k.a. Yeah. Foot. What's happening, brother? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just happy. Yeah. But, you know, I, I did bring some props with me. Yeah, yeah let's so, check them out, man. Yes. Uh, now, this one. Mm-hmm. I, I, I still think um, we're gonna make this happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a, a vintage. Okay. I only think Pug got this. <laughs> a vintage. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's never been played. Okay. <laughs> hey, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Pug flavor. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Never, never, ever it's Miles Civic. The record. I did this record a long, that? long time ago. Oh, I ain't wow. Even, I ain't I, now, that's a friend. Record. I ain't even got this wow. record. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I yeah. don't even have a copy yeah. of this record. That's that crazy. That used to be the old logo. <laughs> the old oh, logo, man. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One pork flavor. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look no. at that. That's pool. awesome, man. Just, it ain't even, it ain't, a needle hasn't touched it. <laughs> right. Ever. Wow. Ever. <laughs> That's so that. awesome. That's crazy. Smile, silver, old the grass. He don't been all over. He don't been all over the world. Yeah. Hug. He got. Come yes. on now. Yeah. That's oh awesome. Just travel with me. So, That's awesome. Uh, Germany, 
England. For, I can't remember. Don't make him cry. Don't make him cry. Don't make him cry. Oh, <laughs> Y'all we can't see it, people. We got them shades on, but oh, I think he did bust a tear. It's, yeah, oh, <laughs> well, yeah. It is something else. That was no, man. but That's a big I, again, deal. Uh, I, man, I had a mixtape of his. I used to, that I never forget. I, I, I let somebody use it. I was in England. I was bumping it, bumping it. I was like, yo, let me get it. And I never got it back. <laughs> wow. So it's somewhere in England. It's, like, right. oh. it's all good. It's all that's good. good. No, good. Man, that's but, awesome, brother. Hey, man. I haven't even got to copy this record. Awesome. Whew, plug flavor. D Banks. Awesome. <laughs> Friends for Life, awesome. baby. So, I mean, I'll, I'll throw a little plug out there. Yeah. If you want to just do the remix and put me up there. You're right. Just, you know. I got you. He I got it. you. He got you. He can <laughs> do definitely, it. We definitely That's got it. a lot coming out. That's it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Big up to Smile Civic, man. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me though, how was the whole military thing? Like moving, yeah. going to Germany and just traveling around the world with that. How was yeah. that? Yeah, no, it was um, definitely an experience. Right. Uh, like I said, once I, I graduated, uh, went to AT for a little bit, and my. Right. Mm -hmm. Grades weren't up to par, so right. my, my dad. <laughs> you mean to tell me your grades? Man, you you kept me going through school. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute, I got to right. sit behind Dern. I can't. Oh God, I can't go Every past class. this year. <laughs> I ain't go past my grade this year. I gotta, I gotta you and uh, Eric Bell. Shout out to Eric Bell. Shout out to Eric. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, when I went to, went to school, eighteen, and so A and T at the time didn't have an attendance policy. Mm. Right. So I said, "All right, wait. So I don't have to go to class, and I mean, I could still make a C. Right. I mean, I, just show me the stuff before the test. I could bust out a C. Right. Right. <laughs> so, and what happened? You know, way back then, thirty plus years ago, it was no Cash App, Venmo, mm -hmm. not like that. So, it was like the the snail mail. So your your parents had to like mail the checks. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. So you know, I used to call call home." talk to my mom and be like, hey, you know, can you slide me some more? Right. Yeah, it's in the mail. Mm -hmm. So I never forget, is I call home, but my dad answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, so you know where this is going. Yeah. And, and for a point five seconds, something said, just call back. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I was, yeah, phone I, phone. I feel, yeah, I felt, I was like, hey, you know, let me talk to my, well, she ain't here. I was like, uh, okay, hey, can you uh, send me like $50? <laughs> You know, he's like, he was sour. Like, yeah. I was like, and then I was like, oh, man. <laughs> he's like, well, you know you can get a job. Right. And I was like, well, you know, I'm a freshman. I got, you know, right. school like work. Going on. Knowing I won't go into class. Right. I was like, it's hard. You know, I got it. He's like, Paul's I said, oh, no. He's you know how, you know, back yeah. in the day, right, like, right. oh, and I yeah. know. Because when he paused, all kind of stuff like, goes through your mind. Here come, come the lecture. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's like, <laughs> Well, you know, you've been up there such and such days. We ain't seen no grades. We ain't seen no. Mm. And, uh, you know, we forking out all this money. Right. And uh, he was like, well, you, you're going to have to figure it out. Oof. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. so are you still selling it? Or are you going right. to still send the money? <laughs> right. He's like, nah, oh, you, you wow. figure it out. He said, we're going to finish up this semester. But uh, next semester, you're going to have to figure, figure something out. out. Wow. And I was like. What am I do? Man. What? What? Mm. So I, you know, I, you know, went on and shout out to Charles Mangan. We we're hanging yeah. out, doing what we do, not going to class. And I'm like, man, I this ain't working out. Right. I, I, I think I'm gonna go in the Air Force. Right. And I solely went in the Air Force just to. I said I'm gonna go in here four years, mm. do get my degree, and then come out. Right. right. Once I got in there, I was like, all right, yeah. this ain't, this is, it ain't yeah. so bad. Right. So once I found out, you know, I got to boot camp and them cats are yelling and all in your face. Yeah, well, like, like football. Like practice. football. I mean, that's like Miss Miss right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. My whole thing was, I was like, well, can they hit me? Right. They were like, no. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's right. yeah. I don't care about you yelling. Like, right. why is you ain't gonna hit me? I'm, I mean, they, they, ah, you know. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, man. You. And only time I really got in trouble in boot, I start lat like this guy. He had for he had to be like six three, and he's standing next to me in this little short lady. She's laying into him, right. and he starts crying. Oh, she's like, wow. "What are you crying for?" <laughs> you know, and, I, and I'm like, <laughs> <I> start laughing, <laughs> and she said, "What are you laughing 
for that. Oh, like, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, after that, it's it's yeah. all about you know playing a game, right? right. One thing I'm good at, and, and and I learn is is how to read people. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Once I learned that skill, you it's know, good. I'm a, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna ask some questions to feel kind of how you are. Right. And then I'll I'll slide into your lane, and and mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I can I can you know, you know, we'll say, you know, just like you do t- toddlers, you know, like right. Oh, right. man. I, I sure would like that thing out of the refrigerator. Right. right. I bet you can't run and go get it. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. So it's it's a, kind of a trick to it. But after that, I uh, went to Mississippi um, and uh, met some good guys there. But they said, That's hey, good. you should travel. Like, go travel. to England. Yeah. Right. Uh, go somewhere. So. Mm-hmm. You know, once I went to Europe, I mean, it was a wrap, man. I, I knew that's that's what I wanted to do. Right. That's awesome. That's you so got the Europe awesome. holding up the ball. Oh, it's it it crazy. Awesome. So, I, so compared to the U.S., how was Europe compared to the U.S.? It's just yeah. different. It's just more... Computer. Um, huh? Computer. It's just oh, more yeah. relaxed. Uh, I think more open. Uh, people, people more kind of carefree. Oh. Um, yeah. So, and then th- just... The traveling system. I mean, they have these high-powered speed trains that go from, you know, mm-hmm. one country to another country. Oh, oh, man. oh wow. really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. wow. I mean, so granted, when I say country, it's like uh, like another town or something. It could be as close as you know. It could be you know we'll be in Germany and Amsterdam, maybe like Peter where Robin. Smithfield is or something. Oh, gotcha, mm-hmm. gotcha. Mm-hmm. You but hop you on the go. train, go there, and uh, and then come gotcha. back, but. Everybody over there, all they got, they want to be like Americans. Oh, like, really? They think we're like the coolest, oh, wow. coolest cats ever. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so I think it was 2000, uh, the millennium, uh-huh. I went to uh, Edinburgh. So that's in England. Um, I can't remember. I don't know if you ever seen Braveheart back in the day, but mm-hmm. it was a castle in the movie or something. Right. But that, oh, so right. I went there um, and it started out fun, mm-hmm. but back then it's, it's not too many black people in Edinburgh. So, so few, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they, like legit, they've never seen. Right. So, I mean, it wasn't bad, but, you know, first five, six times, people were like, hey, are you American? Mm-hmm. You know, like right. looking at you. But imagine 67 people stopping you every five, like, hey, right. one of us. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All they wanted back then it was like, "Hey, do you know? Do you know Will Smith?" I'm like, oh wow! <laughs> no, not personally, but yeah. I, you know, right. yeah, that's my cousin. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Do you know? Uh, have you ever been on a Jerry Springer show? <laughs> oh, you know, back then, that was right. all, yeah, right. man, that's pretty much all they knew right. uh, about Americans. So that's crazy. It, it, it was it was challenging, fun. Uh, I think of all of them, um, Galen Kirchen, Germany was my favorite. So mm-hmm. it's kind of northern Germany, right next to the uh, Amsterdam border. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and by then, I, you know, I would ask all the guys, like, all right, what are y'all doing tonight? They was like, oh, Banks, we're going over here. And mm-hmm. I'll be like, all right, you know me. Mm-hmm. I go left. I, go, <laughs> yeah. I always been dolo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I would go to these clubs. They let me in. I'd be a bit, like, because they thought, like, oh, this American guy, mm-hmm. you know, you know, I'd get on the mic. <laughs> All right, hey, everybody, never stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put your hands in the air, wait like they don't care. You and you everybody that, look at me, I'm be like, You got that C town thing. Yeah. <laughs> but the crowd would look at me, I'm yeah. like, Oh, yeah, they, they don't, don't know. They don't know. It's all the All right, so they don't know what I'm telling them to do. <laughs> yeah. So, no, nah, um, just, just a great experience. Uh, I think, yeah. you know, my younger, uh, my probably about my, my first 10. 10, 12 years, it was, it was more just hanging out, having fun. But mm-hmm. once I got into it um, and got a little more higher rank, right. you know, much like football, I, I was able to mold some of the, the young men, mm-hmm. um, make sure uh, they got where they need to be. And, and even to this day, a lot of my uh, airmen that I that were under me still hit me up and say, hey, you know, right. thank, you, thank you, Sergeant Banks, for helping me out. Uh, again, it, it, whether it's military whether it's regular job, you know, you could be and you see the, the young guy come in and you'd be like, don't do that. Like, right. <laughs> let me, right. Let me pull him, pull him to a side. Like, hey, right. you know, this, this is what you got to do. Mm-hmm. All right. Because, again, they don't know. So they're going to either go with they, 
thought or, you know. Right. Uh, you got to uh, kind of educate them a yeah. little bit. Yeah, or, or, you know, I've been in places where I had people uh, that I outranked, but we were friends. Right. You know, so them thinking we're friends, they, you know, they'll be like, and I'll tell, hey, I need you to do this. Like, eh, I ain't. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, but it's, right. yeah. Hold on, let me talk. So yeah. I corrected them that, that's in right. front of everybody that's right. so they can see, like, right. if I get my best friend, guess what I'm going to do to you? That's right. right. And then after I pulled him aside, I was like, hey, yep. it, it, it ain't about that. I said, I'm not trying to control you. I'm gonna, There's a certain way, if we're on a job, this is what you got to do. Right. Now, when we're out, we can have, it's different. Right. While we're working, we got to work. We'll we got to work. Right. Yeah, I go through that a lot, too. Yeah. Cause like I said, when, you, when you're working, it's, we got to work and we got to, it's a certain position you got to hold, and like when we off work, and we can let loose. But when we at work, if yeah. we got to work, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, cause I've been a, I've been over pulled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said I've been over pulled uh, uh, for how many years? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm the little sister, but <laughs> uh oh, you go bragging again, man. You always uh -oh. bragging. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, I'm gonna stop. S sister I'm and stop. brother, by I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta change them shirts up. Oh man, I'm changing the shirt up. Sister Brother Pug. Hey, hold on. Soon. Hey, people, we're gonna cut your commercial break right quick. Yeah. <laughs> back yeah, back in the day, it'd be time to fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we keep. That's why she's so strong now. We fought every single day. It was always, always about getting that last lick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. But yeah. Um, it's been a hell of a ride, man. It's been a beautiful thing, and you know. So if you like, if you had to tell the kids, or if you had to tell anybody in the world, um, kids and adults, kids and adults, if you had something to tell them, what would you tell them? Oh yeah, pro probably uh, be your own cheerleader. Right. Like, like mm -hmm. believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Like it's hard. Like if you know, if I don't fully believe in what my dreams are, how, how to expect you guys? That's right. <laughs> To, right. to believe right. in it like if, if if something you want to do then then mm -hmm. then do it yeah right. but but also and like i said I tell the tell the kids uh, you know it's, it's nothing free that's right like you got to work like you're you going to get in what you put out of it that's right, right. Uh, every I, time yeah i have a lot of athletes you know they'll come and say hey coach uh i want to play d1 ball so mm -hmm. okay son mm -hmm. i said but i'm gonna let you know just watching you your work ethics is not matching up with your goals. Right. You know what I mean? So That's if right. you, you, can, go you can say it, mm -hmm. you can you say it all day. Right. Right. Are, are, you, are you working? Because you only go get in what you put out. I mean, right. Right. you know, we leave here and say, okay, let, let's drive to South Carolina and we put $5 worth of gas in it. Right. <laughs> That's right. right. That's you what you want to You ain't going yeah, to yeah, get there. Right. You ain't going to make it. It ain't going to happen. So, you so, you, so uh, and then also your your work ethic will, will far surpass any athletic ability that you have. That's right. right. Uh, and consistency. You know? Yeah. You got to be uh, consistent. Yeah. So, so you, you, you got to work. It's, it's, it's no way around it. I don't care if you know. Right. No way around it. Your parents give you, they gift wrap and give right. you a business, million dollar business. If you don't have no work ethic, five, yeah. 10 years, that that's gonna going to be gone. Probably won't even be five years. Yeah. Right. I mean, <laughs> so, you got to have it. You know, stuff like that. And, and you know, especially so with, 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 with uh, kids. But, you know, again, I, I've been coaching there. 11 years so I'm the right. longest tenure coach now I, I have some younger coaches over under me that mm -hmm. I, I pull them to the side and say hey maybe you know do this or maybe try to right. do it this way right or, I, I understand you know you you used to doing it this way but try try this approach right um, but yeah if and one thing I like about working with kids is they kids kids can see right through anything they can right, right. So if you're, you're not truly general, general you know, <laughs> right. genuine mm -hmm. with right. them, you know, they know that if you love them or they know if you're just trying to get, and they're going to judge you accordingly. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so, yeah. But, uh, so let me ask you this. What you think about, because I know, like back then, it wasn't no computers like that. It wasn't no cell phones. It wasn't none of the technology. And we got so much technology nowadays. So I think that kind of holds some of the kids back from working extra hard. 
But what you think about it? Like, I mean, yeah, tech, I, it's good and it's bad. Yeah, I like it, technology, it's, and at the same time, it's a bad thing. Yeah, I think it's good. Obviously, now anything you want to find out, right? Uh, set the you know two seconds we can find two seconds, it. Yeah. Uh, we can talk to anybody around the world. Um, but as far as kids, I, I think they're losing the social aspect yeah. mm-hmm. of it. Um, I don't think they have. They don't know how to carry on a conversation. Right. Like, you know, you get a kid and say, hey, explain this. You know, one of my pet peeves, and I try to tell the kids, you know, I just hate, like, when they go, hey, bro. Uh, right. Like, right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's run. Yeah. You're going to make them run. But then yeah. after that, I'm not your bro. Yeah, <laughs> right. not your cut. You know, yeah. all that slang right. talk. And, and don't get me yeah. wrong. I, you know, we all use slang. Right. But. When we're in the we're in the presence of adults, right, right, we, it's a time and a place. We talk, yeah. Right. I mean, these kids nowadays, I mean, it's the respect, n words mm-hmm. and cuss words, yeah. and I'm like, right, yeah. There's yeah. adults around, like, right. yeah. But w- w- they just me, they think it's okay, mm-hmm. right? You know, so I, again, all this technology is, is good if yeah. used properly, but right. I think they they are almost addicted to it. Right, like you take a kid's phone and they they they, they don't go, lose it. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh right. Oh my god! Yeah, they flip out. Because like back then, we had to go outside and play. Oh, we yeah. ride your bike, go outside, build a clubhouse, whatever yeah. the case may be. It won't okay, what in you the house. do? You can't come in like in this house. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, but what y'all did is y'all created those memories like y'all got. Oh yeah. yeah. If you always on your uh, iPad or whatever, you ain't creating creating a memory with nobody but your yeah. iPad. Yeah. But right. see, y'all created those relationships. Yeah. Right. Um, we can always go back. You remember that time? Yeah. You know, yeah. Remember that time? You know, <laughs> it ain't like remember that time I beat you in this video game and yeah. none of that. Yeah, <laughs> you know no. and, and, we didn't okay. care about video games like that. But again, I think that's the part that they're they're missing out on. Right. Um, just the, the close bonding because right. you're not mm-hmm. really connected. Yeah. You're not with connected. someone mm-hmm. as most because. A, a text, you really can't get the emotion. I right. Mean, you, you know what I mean? You can't right. really. The conversation. Yeah. Right. Um, sometimes somebody texts me and I'm like, man, I, I can't really say what I want to say yeah. with these thumbs. <laughs> hey, man. Check this out. Hey, listen, this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because uh, the text ain't got the feeling yeah. like when you talk to somebody. Right. No, so, yeah. it, it doesn't. Because you can't see the, the delivery of the body right. language. Oh, yeah. and, and especially if you're going to apologize to somebody. Right. 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 That's the right. worst. Yeah. Apologize yeah. over text. Yeah, yeah, this 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 not genuine, right? No, Um, but yeah, uh, kit again, they haven't made, but they don't. If if that that makes sense, right? So yeah, yeah. Well, man, another wonderful episode of the Brother Sister Podcast, man. What else you got for us, man? Uh, Yeah, well. Uh-oh. What I'm about to uh, break the news here. It hasn't Uh been public. Oh Uh man. Um, Okay. Okay. So we're we're about to go public with some news. Only a couple people know. Oh wow! Uh, you I even told first, y'all right here on the brother sister podcast. Wow. Oh, you heard it first on the sister brother podcast. <laughs> no. Stop it, bud. Stop it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> on uh, March 9th, I- I've been blessed. I'm gonna be inducted into the Clayton High Hall of Fame. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hall of yeah. Fame, baby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So awesome, awesome, man. Yeah. Um, again, I, I have some uh, awesome. <coughs> definitely deserved, yeah. well Thank deserved, you. man. Thank I'm so you. proud yes. of you, my brother. Like, well deserved. That's so, awesome. I mean, because you you done a lot of big things on that football field. Like I said, 89 state champion, baby. So yeah. this is right here in the spot. April 9th? April. I'm sorry, March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. Uh, we're having an event at the farm. On 42. So well, we're going to definitely um, be in the spot. I, uh, support. It was uh, March definitely. 9th. I have a women's retreat. What time is yours? It is uh, about 5.30. Oh, yeah. We yeah. can make it. Women's retreat. Then yeah. there. Yeah. Yes. But all of those that can't make it, I think me and PUG might do a, a special yes. after party yes. Yes. somewhere. Yes. Somewhere. Uh, date yeah. to be announced. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But uh, de- definitely a, a humbling experience. Um, more so, uh, you know, now my, my family, especially my boys, can, you know, come right. back. And, That's so good. And no matter whatever happens, my, my, my legacy is almost uh, submitted. Uh, mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Solidified. Uh, Solidified. That's so awesome. Yeah. I love uh, it. So awesome. And again, just like I tell it, it 
it wasn't just me, you know, all my teammates of eight mm-hmm. and nine, all my coaches, yep. little league. You know, so so right. it was a lot of people that, that got me where I need, need to be right. at this mm-hmm. moment. So, and, and you doing the same thing to everybody else, getting them where they need to be. So you definitely, what you learned, you applying it every day yourself. So that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome, man. Hall of Fame, <laughs> well, baby. We're, we're yeah. retired we're at number 10. Number 10 retired. Yeah. Well, we're retired ready for Jersey, this baby. after party. Yeah. We're ready for the party. Um, yeah. Just so happy yeah. for you. And one more big part, not only me, but they're also going to recognize my 89 boys, too. So, awesome. I mean, awesome. It's, so it's, good. It's, it's kind of a full circle thing. Oh, so, um, so good. Look how it worked, man. And, and, mm-hmm. and just like this is kind of not the top, like, like you've go on and you know you're doing podcasts so now i'm about to start to reevaluate my goals mm-hmm. uh right. some 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 and i'm glad you said that because goals are so important um to our people that's out there in the audience write down your goals replan look at those goals revision it and re- write, rewrite it again because the scripture says write it down and make it plain so we got to write these goals down so we can make it plain Pug will tell you, I have a vision board. Mm-hmm. And I it's the same thing, it's writing down goals. Right. And when I went back and looked at my vision board, every single thing I had up there had come to pass. I had to I went, I was literally shaking, taking a picture of it, sending the pug because I had said I was gonna be an international best selling author. I mean, I had said all these things mm-hmm. on my vision board and every single thing had came right. to pass. Everything came so to pass. that's why we have to write goals so we can see our vision, look at it every day, remember and refocus where we're trying to go. Right. And I think a lot of times we're not taught how to do this so i'm so glad you brought that about because we have to set goals set goals for our children allow them to set their own goals at a young age and begin to set our goals as as an adult so we can start moving forward so we gotta we can position ourselves to where we're trying to go again i I think goals are are, are very important Mm -hmm. and writing them down and you know just because i write something down i may not tell everybody yeah (laughs) yeah that's right i'm gonna be working at it Mm -hmm. i'm Pop but, up and be like, hey. But the one person know that you're writing it down, the one person that, that need to know. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, so. yes, yeah. exactly. Um, so also some firsts about the cup. So my new kind of adventure is mm-hmm. what I want to do is I, I'm going to start a um, adaptive sports league. Mm-hmm. Right. So inclusive. So this is more for um, – kids with disabilities or learning yeah. Dis- yeah. disorders because right. uh, what I've what I found um, some of those kids don't get to experience yes, you know, right. being on a team mm-hmm. or if they are um, you know they, they may not get to play so right. even something if you know they get a couple games mm-hmm. a month mm-hmm. um, so that that's that's kind of yeah, where I want to start to kind of shift my focus this year will be probably the third year we do what we call common and friends mm-hmm. uh, adaptive football camp and it's mm-hmm. for kids with either disability autism or things like mm-hmm. that so all kids again sports helps all kids mm-hmm. and i think yep. bringing them in letting them be feel a part of being a team is, is a good thing that's so, right um, that's man awesome, this is man. some good this some good stuff on this show <laughs> yes, today <man>. loving it <laughs> it's some good stuff huh? yes darren it's, it's some good stuff you brought yeah, forward. Hey. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> yeah hey man. i hey when, when Pug invited me a couple months, yeah. I was like, "Hey, I got, I'm a reflection of him, yeah. so he, hey, yeah. his, I, I got, I got to show off for him." That's you right. You, yeah, you did. And you, you definitely you brought did it. that, my brother. You brought it. You brought yeah. it. Yeah, yes. and I love it. Yeah, so awesome. So, awesome deal, man. But anything else? We good, man. I'm telling you, one of the best episodes ever, man. My man, Mr. Darren <laughs> Banks, retired Jersey '89 champion, Mr. Hall of Fame. Yes. We about to do it real big, y'all. Yeah. yeah. So listen, another episode of the Brother and Sister, another episode of the Sister and Brother Podcast. <laughs> uh oh. I like to say we love you. <laughs> we love y'all. <laughs> And we thank y'all. Please like, please subscribe to all the social media platforms. We love y'all. We love it. Peace. We out. Peace. Yo. That was so good. (laughs) That's so awesome. Congratulations.